I'm going to make this um, UFO fly in the scene here. And we'll fly behind this column and then it will go behind this wall and pick up a cow and go up and leave the scene and of course go through behind the column again. So the first thing what I need to do is to roto out the column and the wall. So I select my scene here, hit O for shortcut for roto. I'm going to click here. Hit enter and then you can see it's roto out and the next thing here what I need to do is select all of my roto and I'm going to right click and then down here it says plane attract this shape forward I'm going to click that but I have done this previously to save time so I'm going to delete that I'm going to drag this uh, roto which I've done before drop it in and if I double click this, you can see uh, it has a roto. And also, if I play this, um, you can see that the roto plate has been tracked. The next thing here I need to do now is to get my UFO into the scene. So you can see I've done a previous here, I've done a pre molt, and then I'm going to hit transform on it. So I go and select the transform and the rotor and hit M for merge and you can see it's in the scene here now. So if I bring this up here now, we want to make this UFO appear that it is uh, behind this column. So in order to, to do that, we need to tell the rotor that the output should be mask doing that. So we go to here output and then down to other layers and then choose mask. Next thing here we have to tell that the merge should interact with the mask. So we click here as the mask dot a and we can see that now that the column is masking out the ends of the UFO. To change that so it looks like it's behind the column, we will click the invert of the merge one, and now it looks like it is behind the column. Next, we want to animate this UFO, and I have done this previously here. As you can see, it has an A right here. So I'm going to rewind my scene. I'm going to delete the previous uh, UFO, I mean <laughs> transform. I'm going to take this uh, transform and just drag a bit in here. And now if you play this, you can see the UFO is flying through the scene. And I was thinking, it goes down very quickly, you can see it's a cow down. All right, next we want to bring the cow into the scene. Previous pre molt on here. And I hit a T for transform. What I'm doing now is select transform and select the merge and hit M. So now you can see the cow is in the scene <coughs> here. So <coughs> next thing here we want to do now is the uh, for the cow to be um, attached to the UFO as it moves. So what I want to do is I'm going to rewind it. I'm going to uh, over the transform for the UFO. Make sure it's rewind. Double click it. I'm going to over, over to the translate and I'm going to right click and choose copy animation. And then over the transform for the cow. I'm going to double click this. I'm going to over here translate. Right click choose paste absolute so now when you play it 
the uh, animation, the cow is attached to the spaceship. Okay. Next, we want to make sure that the cow is uh, looks like it's behind the wall, and we do the same thing as we did with the merge for the UFO. So double click merge two, and then here uh, you want to choose mask and invert, and now it is behind the wall. Comes up, it looks like it's coming up. There's the cow. All right. Next, we want to do is we're going to make we're going to pivot the cow, so it looks like it's right underneath the UFO. So I move the pre mold and I hit another transform, and I'm just going to move it right here and make it a little smaller. Should be a little tiny cow. Zoom in right here, a little tiny cow. And now if we play this, it's attached. All right. Next, we want to animate the opacity of the cow doing that. So it looks like uh, it is picking it up, the cow. So what we want to do is we want to go down in here, and we're going to double-click the merge, click, and we're going to right-click. So before that, we're going to bring down the mix. That does, so it looks like, The cow is not attached to it. See, I'll bring it up. You can see the cow's there. All right. So let's go down here to the scene. Here, you're gonna right-click, set key, and then just move one frame ahead, two, and bring it up to one, and then right-click. Oh, we don't have to do that. It's automatic key. So I do apologize for that. So now let's play this uh, animation. Yeah, there's you go. It's like ah, a cow down there. Let me see if I can catch it. Of course, you can ask some. Still thinking. There you go. It's going. It's going. And goes behind the column. And the cow will have a column. And that's one happy UFO with a. New cow is captured at the uh, Grand Building. Alright, thank you so very much, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Take care.